How's it hanging, YouTube? Peter here, your Ginger Jordy Geek. Welcome back to another one sixth scale action figure unboxing. And this one's a bit special because I have the power. Oh, shit, that's awful. This is a Masters of the Universe He Man figure. I'm a massive He-Man fan from back in the days when I was just a wee nipper and I used to watch the cartoons and read the comics and all that jazz. I even quite like the recent Kevin Smith stuff, not sure why it gets all the hate. I've got quite an extensive original He-Man action figure collection um, and I love some of the more modern takes on the figures as well like these. It's a really amazing series. I was over the moon to see that Mondo did a 1 6 scale version of He-Man and then I saw it and it's shit. This is the Mondo's interpretation of He-Man and I really didn't like this at all. Luckily for me, they've come up with a new version. This this bad boy looks stunning. This is more my akin. It's much more classic C man. So I decided I had to get it and, and have a look at all the bits and bobs he comes with. So this is it. This is the box. As you can see, you get three different outfits for him because I like to dress me dolls up. It's a stunning box. It's got some really nice cover. It pops. It's got a bit of blurb in the background there about the power of grace and all the rest of it. Um, it's just really nice. So these things open up like this and you've got a stunning image of He-Man himself on the front cover there um, Next to the, the Castle Grayskull obviously it looks really cool. I love it I'm liking the classic look of this figure. Ooh, I'm excited. Let's get him out and see what you get with him Boom here he is. Now, this to me looks absolutely stunning. You get a whole coast of stuff with them. So let's just start off. You usually get, as you usually do with these figures, a whole host of different kinds of hands, fists, and pointing things, or all that kind of jazz. So a nice assortment of hands. You get this, his power sword, his sword of power. Now this is really nicely done. I do like this, it's got a nice little edge to it. I'd like a die cast, because I do like my die cast. But yeah, it looks very cool, I like that a lot. You get his battle axe. Again, this is really nicely done. Nice colouring on it, it's got a bit of weathering. Um, it stands out really nicely, I do like that. I don't know whether I want him holding the sword or the axe. Ah, we'll have to see. You get his classic shield. And again, it looks amazing. It's quite a weight lot. This really does remind us of the original shield you got with the figure. It's lovely. It, I like the colouring on it. It looks weathered. It looks beaten up. It looks used. I like it. Very cool. You get a couple of different head sculpts. So the one on the figure there is his stoic look. The yeah, end. then you get this. He's kind of exposed teeth, angry look. I quite like that. That looks really cool. Yeah. If you want to make your figure look like utter shit, you can stick this on. This is the original kind of head sculpt from those original filmation kind of stuff. It looks awful. You get a dagger. Now, he didn't have this in the cartoon, but he had it in the original kind of artwork of him. So this straps onto his boot. So I quite like that. Now, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So you get some armour. This is from his battle armour. I had this figure when I was a kid. This looks really cool. It just snaps over the actual frame of the figure there. And you get these. These are the magnetic kind of damage indicators that you have. So in the original toy, though, they kind of spun around. But I like that. So you get a normal one and you get a damaged version. That's pretty cool. That's a nice little effect. I'm not sure. I quite like that. I might have to get... Oh, I don't know whether I'll have that on him or not. You get this. This is his kind of his lightning punch effect. And um, for when you've got him using the other sword and stuff. I'm not that familiar with that figure. I can't remember having that one. But you get the kind of the energy sword. I'll not be using that. It's nice, but no, not for me. Thanks. I like the classic better. You then get this. This is the uh, the kind of the braces that go with that power setup. Um, again, not not really a figure I had, so I'm not sure I'll actually be using this one. It does look nice. It's nice to have another option. Um, and this original figure, you had some, um, we used to call them caps, right? these kind of things that you popped in your shield and it kind of made noises, bangs and stuff like that. Um, it's nice that they've replicated that. But yeah, nice, but not what I'll be using. Let's look at the figure himself. My lord, he looks amazing. So you've got stunning detail all the way through the figure. Look at these little fairy bits. Stunning detail all the way through the figure. Now, it is um, an action figure, so it does look like a toy, if you know what I mean, more so than probably some of my hot toys. But I don't mind that for this particular line. Love his belt. It looks really, really cool. Um, I love the furry, the furry undies. Um, <laughs> tickling them. Um, and you've got that on the belt as well. The material is really nice, and that goes all the way through. Now, issue here is these figures mark really easy. So when you put the sword in the back there, it, it kind of marks it, which is a shame. 
This is him naked with that horrific head sculpt. I will definitely not be using that. You can see the detail on him is really good. Um, but as I said before there, these figures seem to mark extremely easily. So you might not see that, but it's scratched already on the back, which is a bit of a no-no. However, Mondo, we should be able to get away with that these days. Now, this figure had a whole load of issues um, manufacturing with the, wi the, the waist. Mine seems to be okay. I'm not going to muck around with it too much in case it does snap. But yeah, mine seems okay. He all love it. Here he is, kitted out with some of that battle arm. I think I've got the wrong braces on him there, like. But yeah, I really do like this armoured look. I might be tempted to display him like that. I'm not sure. But yeah, I think it looks cool. I love this magnetic kind of clip-on, clip-on off thing. I think that looks excellent as well. I love him having the sword and the axe in hand. That, look, that does look cool. Let us know if you like that. Um, here he is with the kind of the energy sword and the energy effect on his hand. Nah, not, not for me, that. I quite like the um, the kind of the outfit and stuff, but no, I'll not be bracing. That doesn't say He-Man to me. Um, I want a more classic, clean look for my figure, I think. But I'm pleased to have the options, I have to say. I am pleased to have the options of the different outfits. Next, that's the shield that comes with it, but yeah, I'm not going to put that on. So this is probably how I'm going to have them displayed. This is a very clean looking, classic He-Man um, from memory. Um, not sure that I have the sword in the hand or the axe in the hand. Let us know what you think in the comments. But I think this looks pretty badass. This to me is kind of how I want my He-Man displayed. He looks pretty awesome. This is the most stoic head sculpt on there rather than the bared teeth. I'm not sure which one I prefer. Um, but yeah, he does look amazing. Yeah, yeah. Looks very, very cool. All I would say though is when I put the shield on his arm, it's already scuffed the paintwork. So really, I kind of take the shield off now. So again, Mondo, that's a bit shit. The axe kind of props nicely there, but I'm scared it scratches stuff. I would have liked a little hook or something to put it on. Okay, ladies and gents, this is how I will display my He-Man from the Masters of the Universe line. I've got a lot of these figures at the moment, so watch out for other videos if you like this kind of stuff. Um, and I've got a battle cat in the way. Okay, let us know if you're a He-Man fan. Thank you very much for watching, um, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>